Hey guys, hope you guys are all doing well and welcome back to the channel. Today we got something pretty special over here. Uh, we're gonna be unboxing and doing a little review on a tripod. So this is the Leo Photo Wings of God series tripod. This is the LG 284C in silver, um, which is a pretty, pretty cool tripod. I've had my eye on, you know, picking up a tripod that better suited my needs and this is something that really caught my eye. So we're gonna take a look at this and yeah, we'll do a little unboxing and then we'll take it onto the field and test it out. So let's open this up. All right, so here we have it. So to start off, this comes with a very, very high quality carrying case. This is a uh, very, very well made. Got a nice little handle. Open it up over here. And I hope you guys are excited for this as much as I am because this is a very, very nice looking tripod. So we'll see some of the accessories that we got here. We got a little, uh, little strap for the bag. We also have a couple of different tools if we need to change, let's say the tripod head or um, tighten everything up. Included is the spikes right over here. And it comes with an additional center column. And the main thing in here, the tripod. Check this thing out. It was very, very nicely packaged, as you guys can see. Wow. And look at that. Give you guys a little closer look. So this is a fully carbon fiber tripod. It is CNC machined um, components on this. And it's a very, very nice size. You also have three twist lock legs. So, you know, you give them like half a twist, slides right out, and then it locks in there. So this is gonna be extremely easy to operate and it's gonna be, it's gonna be a breeze to use. It's got nice little cushions over here to handle it. You know, and with the carbon fiber, this is pretty lightweight with the, with the solid construction on top. So let's bring this down a little bit. So what we got here is a Arca style plate adapter. So this is gonna fit all your standard plates. So this was a big, big, big point for me uh, when I was looking into getting a tripod is that it was Arca Swiss compatible because that's gonna be the most common one you're gonna use um, with other companies that make different kinds of accessories, uh, whether it's like an L bracket. This is gonna be extremely versatile and it'll just carry over with um, any of the accessories that you guys have. Knob over here to operate. And it's got a bunch of different locks. So we got unlock over here for the rotation. That locks right up. So you got a little tensioner. And then this will operate the ball head. And you can kind of change the tension of the ball head with this little lever on the side. Oh, this little knob on the side. Yeah, and this is this is amazing. If you guys just want to use like, let's say the standard plate, um, this does go completely 90 degrees, so you can shoot vertically if you need to. Um, I know some tripods don't offer that feature, so very, very happy that this came with that. Um, it's, it's an, again, it's, it's another thing that I was looking for in an all around perfect tripod, or at least as perfect as we can get. Um, Another little feature that's a little um, that was important to me um, was that it had a removable center column. So I like to carry a light of like a light lightweight setup, um, but I also want a very sturdy tripod. So the ability to pick and choose whether you want to use no center column or with a center column to give you, you know, an extra half of like an extra foot of um, reach it was extremely important to me because I want to have that lightweight setup and even swapping this over is, is f super easy, right? So you 
you have a little knob over here on the side that just loosens the center column up. And then you have a little push lock on this side and the entire thing just pops right out. And then you can just load your new head in, you know, if you have a second head, like a video head on this one and you keep this one as just a ball head, um, you just tighten it up right over here, you know, and you're already ready to go. And then if you need to loosen up your center column, it has this super easy little twist lock, right? And then it just locks right in place. So again, the things that they've thought of are exactly what I need. And I definitely think that all these little features are what's gonna set this tripod apart from others and make it more usable, you know, in the field. Whether it's having like a replacement head or another little feature on here you'll see is that they have two different thread sizes. So you have one over here and one over here. So if you need to attach additional accessories, another use case for those would be, let's say you wanna record a little behind the scenes. So if you have one of these little arms, you can just thread these right in there. So now you have an accessory just like this. And now you have a little arm to either hold, let's say you wanna hold like an additional light. If you want to um, hold your phone, like in this case, right? So you can film a little behind the scenes. Whatever it may be, you have two different options, whether you wanna use two different, um, two different accessories, or if you just wanna pick and choose which kind of thread size that you need, um, this is gonna be perfect for that. And, you know, I like to shoot a little behind the scenes of, from, from my photo shoots. So I definitely think that's gonna be a very necessary feature. Other additional features, you also have these little quick releases if you wanna change the angle, right? So if you wanna go super, super low, these just pull out and they lock in place. So you can have it extremely low to the ground. And then if you just wanna bring them down, just give it a little, right? And you got one, two, and then you got your third level. So you have three different options. You also have this nice large hook in the center underneath the tripod. So I'll show you guys right over here in the close up. So you have this nice, nice hook if you need to hang, um, if you wanna hang one of your bags, just to weigh this down. If it's, a, if it's like a windy, if it's like a windy day or something, um, that's gonna be extremely important. You also have these beautiful, beautiful washers you know, everything's made out of metal. This slides so beautifully and it's extremely smooth. I also wanna show you guys the weather sealing on these legs, because I think that's very, very important, especially if you're a landscape shooter. I live in Canada, so we have a lot of snow. Uh, so these are gonna be things that will affect the performance of other tripods. So let me show you guys a little close up of what this looks like. So I don't know if you guys can see over here, we'll just loosen this up. But if you look carefully, right around the outside, right over here, you can see that blue O-ring, and that's gonna keep out. Uh, it's gonna keep out dirt, debris. It's gonna keep out moisture. If you, you know, if you submerge this in like a little ravine or something, this is gonna be extremely, extremely helpful. And it's something that most manufacturers don't do, right? So you have that O-ring right around the outside, and. This is gonna be a game changer, especially if you're somebody that's always outdoors. This is a no brainer. And I think it's a very, very valuable feature to have on a tripod like this. I'm a very, very firm believer in, you know, buying something that will suit the needs that you need at those moments. Buy something, spend a little bit extra, um, buy something that's gonna last you a long time and it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna check off all the boxes on your list. If it doesn't, sometimes you need to wait a little bit longer until you find the right thing. So, you know, hopefully this video is helpful. If these are some of the features that you're looking for in a tripod, there's no going, you know, there's no going wrong in that. And also, uh, Leo Photo was actually generous enough to provide me with my own discount code for you guys. So if you guys want to buy anything on their website, whether it's accessories, uh, they got different kinds of gear, 
Um, if you guys want to buy this tripod, um, the promo code is going to work throughout their website. So I'll leave it right over here on the screen. And there'll also be an affiliate link in the description. And if you guys do use it, that will help me out a bit. So I do appreciate that. Let's go out and we'll do a little bit of a shoot. I'm thinking, you know, we go out, we'll do a little landscape shoot. We'll have some fun and we'll see how this does in the field. All right, guys, we are at Rouge Park where this is the uh, the Twin Rivers Park and I'm going to set up the tripod. We're going to go out. We're going to get some great photos. One thing I'm going to do right now is actually switch up the tips of the tripod from the soft ones to the spiked ones since we are going to be out in the forest. Um, I think that'll be uh, better for stability. So let's do that right now. All right guys, so as you guys can see, these are the spiked legs. So we're gonna be replacing the little rubber ones that come standard on the tripod. So let's do that real quick. So to do that, all you're gonna do is twist and these are gonna come right off. And another key feature that I did wanna note is if you guys can see right here, you'll see a little rubber O-ring and this is gonna stop uh, moisture from getting inside of your tripod. So if you're shooting out in, uh, you know, early in the mornings and the grass is wet, or if you're submerging it uh, in a little river or creek, this is gonna be something that almost no other manufacturer is gonna provide you with. So this is a great feature of this tripod. And to show you guys on the spiked feet as well, you have a nice, uh, nice clear O-ring as well to stop moisture from getting in. And these will just screw right on. And these are quite hefty, so you don't have to worry about damaging them at all. I got my boy JJ with me today. Hey guys. He's going to be helping with some little behind the scenes. Um, yeah, I'm going to enjoy this little hike over here. Beautiful Rouge Park. It's good to be back here. I haven't been here in a while. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy this. And yeah, let's get some fresh air. So today we are going to be shooting with some Portra 400 and I'm gonna be shooting with the Hasselblad 500cm with the 80 mil lens. So let's load some film and let's take some pictures. One of my favorite things about this tripod is that it has a Arca Swiss plate. Whether it's the plate on my digital cameras that I film with, or if it's this little bracket that I have here for my Hasselblad, um, everything's gonna be absolutely seamless. And that's like a big thing for me when I was looking for this, for a tripod like this. And again, for setting it up, it's as easy as just unlocking these legs and you're ready to go. So we'll bring it out just like this. Set the camera up. Okay, so let us frame our shot up. And this is looking absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna take a little reading over here. And I'm just using the light meter app on my phone. 
So we'll shoot this at 400 and we'll, me we'll meter for the mid-tones over here. So at f2.8, so 500th at f4 approximately. That sounds about right in the shady area. 500 the second at f4. And I might just go a little bit darker, maybe third of a stop. I think that looks good. Pull out our dark slide. And already I can tell this tripod is extremely, extremely stable. So if we need to do a long exposure, we can. And one, two, and three. Perfect. I love the light that's going on right over here with that tree. So I think that's going to be our next shot right now. So why don't we set it up? So I love the light that's happening right here on the tree. I love that. So I think for this shot, I'm going to meter for right in the middle where the sun is hitting because I'd like to underexpose it just a little bit. 500, 5.6, perfect. And I just wanna loosen up my pan head right here. And again, this pan head is extremely smooth, so you can make those micro adjustments if you need. And I wanna center that tree right there, perfect. Lock in my focus, and one, two, three. Perfect, beautiful. Absolutely love that shot right there. guys so for the third shot we got this beautiful tree that has fallen for a long time but it's been bleached in the sun and the roots over there have a very nice texture to it so we're gonna switch from the 80 mil to the 150 um, on the Hasselblad and then we will shoot all right guys so I have the I have the 150 on right now so I want to get a picture of where that little sunshine is on the, uh, on the roots of that tree. So this ground over here is super, super soft. So since I have the spikes on this tripod, I'm just going to press down on it and it's just biting right into the ground. So this is going to provide a very, very solid uh, base for the camera. Yeah, that's perfect. Love that. Perfect. So we're going to shoot this at 500th at f4. This is providing a nice bit of separation from its background. And one, two, three. Perfect. I don't know if you guys can see, there is a, a little bug flying around there. So hopefully that was caught in the picture because I think that'll be very nice. All right, guys. So. I love how the camera is looking right now, right here with this background. Um, so I've actually got my second Hasselblad with me today. Um, so we're gonna, I swapped the backs out. So that one has a nice silver back on there now. So it matches nicely with the tripod. And we're gonna take a quick photo of the camera and tripod together. Perfect. And one, two, three. All right. <laughs> oh. All 
Alright guys, so for this next shot, um, there's some nice foliage over here and the sun is falling perfectly on them. And you know, we're out here enjoying the sunshine, so it's only fitting that uh, those are the things that kind of catch my eye right now. Uh, so I'll show you guys what that looks like right here. There's these, uh, what are they called, ferns or, I don't know, they remind me of like dinosaur plants, but I love the texture in the leaves. So we're gonna get a nice close up with the, uh, with the 150. So let's set up for this shot. So I do want to get a little bit higher angle over here. So we're going to extend the last portion of this tripod. Oh, there's a frog. All right, guys, so we're going to set this shot up right here. So it looks like the sun moved a little bit. So I'm actually going to go and there's another leaf that's right over there, right there. So that's the one we're gonna aim for now. We'll swap over to this side. And let's see how we're looking. 125th at F4. Perfect, and one, two, three. All right, so hopefully that shot turns out. I really, really like that. And I love all the texture in that leaf. And already you can see that sun is faded away. Uh, so again, we had a very, very small uh, moment to take that picture. Um, and yeah, I hope this, uh, I hope the separation created by this 150 uh, really, really creates that nice depth in that photo. And you're able to see all the little details in the leaf. So let's keep going. We got a couple more shots left until the end of our adventure. All right guys, so for our next shot, we got this nice tree over here. I and mean, we're in a forest, so it's gonna be a lot of trees, but I'm loving this. And we got the tripod nice and low. And again, you can just get that super sturdy. Perfect, so we're gonna line that up. Perfect. Love that. Get our focus in. Looking good. Perfect. Dark slide out. And one, two, and three. Perfect. Love it. Let's keep going. All right, guys, we just took our final pictures here in this beautiful forest. So we are on our way out. Thank you guys for sticking around. I hope you guys had fun. Um, gonna go drop off the film now, downtown camera, and I'll meet you guys back at the studio. All right, guys, we're back in the studio. Um, I hope you guys had a little fun with me out there. So for my closing thoughts, as you guys can see, I'm a big fan of the Arca Swiss. Um, Literally this L bracket for my Hasselblad has one so I can, you know, quickly take off my Hasselblad if I need to, right? So, or if I need to attach another camera that already has an Arca Swiss uh, plate on it, you know, having this low profile setup is very, very important. It's lightweight, you know, I can just strap it onto my backpack and we're good to go. Um, not having the center column and having this nice little hook over here to hold that, hold the weight down you know, in windy conditions is extremely important. Flexibility of this tripod is second to none. The build quality is absolutely amazing. And look how good it looks with the camera on it. <laughs> the looks cannot be understated. This tripod does not look like your average tripod. And, you know, sometimes looking a little out of the ordinary is not a bad thing. They do also have this in another color. Um, they have it in black. Uh, but they offer a multitude of other tripods in different sizes and different you know weight classes whether it's for dedicated for video for photo whatever you need they they will have it and again they have all the additional accessories that you know 
that fit right here in the little mounting points, um, which is also a great feature to have. You know, even if it's not something that you use every day, just using it once, right? And having that little behind the scenes extra footage, you know, whether you need to mount your A cam or even a B cam on there, right? Just to get a different perspective. It's very, very important. And, you know, as content creators, or even working professionals, the more tools you have in your arsenal, the easier your job's gonna be. So thank you again for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys learned something. You know, I hope it was a little educational. Thank you again to Leo Photo for working with me on this project. Um, if you guys do wanna buy something again, I do have the link in my description or you can use this discount code for 12% off your order. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys real soon.